take any more. I can't, I can't do this. I cannot do this any more. I can't do it anymore. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Now that's fast. Whoa! Oh my, oh my, oh my God! Yeah, bitch! Oh wow! Oh! That is beyond special. It's too fucking good. Beautiful. I've looked at this for five hours now. Are you struggling to win on FIFA because your team is really bad? Shocking. Dreadful. No quality. Do you need coins for a cheeky new team? I need it! You can head over to u7buy.com for cheap, fast and reliable coins. And if you use code McShell, you'll get a 5% discount. Alright boys and girls, today we're going to be jumping into an insanely good card, okay, Lucas Vasquez team of season. This card, lads, is absolutely amazing, and I, I have a little bit of a, I would, I'd say a story for you guys, like, in terms of how I got this card. So we open our rewards, boys, and if you follow me on Twitter, you'll know what we packed, okay, the red cards uh, and the tradable rewards, for that matter, were just absolutely, they're just not good, okay. I wanted Vasquez, okay, because Vasquez looks so good, and he just, I just really wanted him badly, I didn't think that was, that was too much to ask, but apparently, according to EA, it is. So, I do a couple of upgrade packs, because, you know, I'm a little bit like, I'm a bit salty about my rewards. I do a few upgrade packs. We end up getting Lorente, who I've already got. So I've got a dupe look at Lorente now. And I'm like, fuck, I've got all this fodder and not much to put it in. So I decide to do the 85, like, plus La Liga pack, which you guys probably would have seen in the intro. My god, EA finally delivered me something that I wanted. Lucas Vazquez was in there. I was jumping for joy. I was just like, yes, it's exactly what I wanted. Finally. So yeah, boys, I've built a bit of a cheeky team, okay? This is the team I'm going to be running in Weekend League. I think defensively, lads, has been the biggest shake-up of the team, okay? There's definitely a thing that's changed the most. Okay, usually I just go with the Boateng St. Just, you know, the usual guys, but I've completely changed my defence in order to get Koundé in. I want to see if this Koundé is good. I used his Champions League card, I absolutely hated him, but this card looks, it just looks so good that I, I can't imagine he's going to be bad. Obviously, EA will probably try and prove me wrong, but I changed the defence to get Koundé in. Okay, we've got Kimpembe here. We've got his Sambia that I've had untradeable for so long. I've literally had him forever and never really had to use him, so we're finally using him today. And at left back, boys, we've got a bit of a hidden gem here, okay, in, in a Stupanan. All right, this card is amazing. Mad good and is so cheap. You can get him for like 50k and it just looks incredible. Midfield and attack is pretty much the same, boys. Obviously, you've got the icon boys and Veron, you know, Butra and Nedved, all the lads. And we can get any striker in the game in a minute, boys. I've gone with Zapata for now, but that Syria Tots comes out and gives me a little cheeky Shiro Mobley uh, team of season, then that might change. I need it! And of course, Vazquez here at right wing, who I'm actually going to be playing as a centre mid, boys and girls. Like, you could play this card literally anywhere, but for me, I think centre mid is going to be perfect for him. You know, he's got really good long shots, the dribbling, like, he's going to be an amazing centre mid to go with her on. So let's run through the in-games boys and girls. Okay, four star, four star, high, high work rates, five for eight. So a pretty much perfect start. And again, the high, high work rates, that's part of the reason I want to use him at centre mid is he's going to be getting up and down the pitch. 94 pace, of course, is amazing. The shooting stats here, 99 positioning, 90 finishing, 99 shot power, and 95 long shots. That's just absolutely cracked. Dribbling here, really, really good stuff, boys. 93 in-game dribbling, 92 agility, 94 balance, just really, really good dribbling there. Defensively, really good as well, boys. Again, part of the reason I'm using at centre mid is the fact that he can defend the game. It's not thing like ridiculously good, but it is pretty damn solid. And again, you can boost that with chem styles. So I think again, perfect for center mid. And physically also pretty good too. Not the best strength, and it's definitely the weakest part of the card is the fact that he doesn't have too much strength. But 99 agility and 92 aggression are really good. Overall, boys and girls, you have like one of the most well-rounded cards in the game. A literal card you can play anywhere. You could play him as a fullback, you could play him as a midfielder, you can play him as a cam, a striker, like literally anywhere. Think of a position, and as long as it's not goalkeeper, you you'd probably get away with it. Oh my god, that's amazing. But anyway, let's so jump into a bit of gameplay with Vasquez. I will be using him as a cam today just to truly test his shooting stats. So wish me luck, boys. Let's jump into game number one. Lads, I'm not going to lie. It is so hot today. I'm taking this hoodie off. I don't even know why I put it on. I'm sweating my bollocks off. Good tackle. Vasquez already making the juicy run. That run was so good. The 99 positioning, boys. You know this card is just going to make the best runs. Shit, come on. Defend. Fuck. Oh, 
why did look look, look all right look, 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 uh, English motherfucker why did Kunde lunge out there like I I'm trying to I'm giving Kunde a good opportunity here to to repair the damage he did when I had his Jamie's D card and he lunges out there by himself and leaves me exposed Kunde right, he's got it he's got it no he hasn't honestly I Kunde I he's the worst center back in the game I've only had him on the pitch for 26 minutes and he's just making mistakes already. Vasquez. Finesse. Oh, that's no. Nice, Lorente. Play, play. Look at Vasquez. The runs. Not the shot, though. Oh, my God. The set piece specialist. That is McGill. The set piece specialist. That was so nicely worked. That was just cheeky. Steep out of all goal scorers as well with that 40 shooting. So that was a fucking lie. Nice. Nice. Got to be. Let's go, boys. Good play. Good little one twos there and good finish. Win that, Kunde. Kunde, I'm actually getting pissed off with you. I changed my whole defence to get him in. I changed the whole defence and he's done fuck all. Like, good things. He just... He's made three mistakes that I can think of that are really bad. Oh my god, there's no way. He's gonna score it. Oh fuck it, I'm so... I, I'm honestly so pissed off. I changed my whole defence and this is what I get for it. I can't believe I've lost that, lads. My defence cost me there. And I, I don't. And I feel like I, I yes, pretty didn't defend the best. But Koundé, Koundé cost me. Like, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to be straight up with you guys. Koundé got an 8. No, he fucking didn't. He got a fucking 2. It was dreadful, EA. Fucking hate it. Piece of shit. But let's just briefly talk about Vasquez's performance. I'll be honest with you, boys. He didn't do anything too crazy in this game. He started off the game really well. Made himself a great run and scored it very nicely. So he started off the game really well. And after that, I didn't really notice him doing anything too crazy after that. He got on the ball a few times. Did a few dribbles. Made some other good runs and stuff. But I'll be honest, I didn't see too much from him. I do definitely want to see more from him. Because, again, he has such a, a crazy card that I, I just want to see. I want to see some crazy things, you know. But, yeah, boys, we're jumping to another game. Fingers crossed Vasquez plays well. And, uh, yeah, hopefully win and stuff so let's jump to game number two Oh my god, honestly, lads, this Kunde is not going to last long. He is not going to last long. He's he, He's got a mistake in him every 10 seconds. Don't want to. Be nice. Oh my god, look at Nedved. Oh, what a pass from Vasquez! That's a great bit of play, lads. Great finish from Nedved. Great pass from Vasquez. Great play, come on. Intercepted it. Nice ball from Vasquez. Pulled it up to Pata. Play it in. Whoa, they see it's just the link up play. The link up between Nedved and Vasquez right now is insane. Big boy Vasquez for Nessie. Oh my god, that was not far away, boys. That was not far away at all. Shit. He's gonna get one back. Yeah, where is he? Yes, that was a good chip. Fuck. Look at Vasquez. It's gotta be Vasquez. Man, honestly, this Vasquez, lads. I just. He's so good at, like, everything. I love him. I really do. I'm so glad I got him. Hallelujah. Like, thank the Lord for this. Nice. Oh, back post. Back post. Zapata. Play Vasquez. Come on, Vasquez. He's so good on the ball. What a pass as well. Oh my god, the dribbles. The dribbles. The t oh, this card is so good. He's insane at everything, lads. I'm telling you. I and for he's like 300k on the market as well. And he's made him quit. Like it's well class, absolutely well class. Lads, that was such a good performance from Vasquez. Not only was he getting himself a load of assists, okay, he got two assists in this episode. He's also got himself two lovely goals. Like his dribbling, his finishing, his runs, his passing, everything about this card is class. I'm so glad I got this card, lads. I, did, I just knew that I was gonna love him from looking at him. He just got such a well-rounded card and I just, I had to get him. And, and thank God he gave him to me finally. I'm so happy with this one. But lads, it is your lucky day again, okay? I'm gonna play a third game again because I just, I really wanna keep playing with this Vasquez. I'm really 
enjoying him. I'm actually having fun on FIFA for once. So, we jump into a third game, and fingers crossed Vasquez can deliver another penis. Four gold arms, actually, before we do that. So, let's switch over to game number three. Vasquez. Cut. Penry! Oh, easy pen is your lot. And just this Vasquez, man, he just has these he has these defenders on fucking ice skates the way he's wiggling. You look left, but you go middle. He's done it. Let's go. Nice, can pen back. I need someone to fucking give the ball to! I couldn't even clear it! There was nowhere to go! Zapata, go on lad, go on Zapata, you beast, get in, nice ball Zapata, play inside, and again, Vasquez, easy finish, I just, yeah, I just lads, I honestly, he's so good, I, I don't know how many times I can say it, he just, he, he's good at dribbling, and he just finishes everything, I really like him. I'm afraid your journey ends here, traveller. I think that's gonna wrap it up, boys and guys. I think I've shown you all you need to see about this Vasquez card. Seriously, for the for the price that this card goes for, which is about 300k, uh, it's an absolute bargain. He's so good. You can literally play him anywhere. Honestly, you play him up front, I wouldn't say anything different. If you play him at Cam, as you guys seen in this episode, he's more than capable. Centre mid, he's got the defending and stuff, so I think he's more than capable of that. He's so good at literally every position. I, 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 like I said, I'm just so glad that I got him. I was really desperate to get him and, and now we have him i'm just i'm so excited to use him in weekly but anyway that's gonna call it there i hope you did enjoy if you did smash up and subscribe and i'll see you guys next one all right peace <laughs>